Anybody else get that creaking, twisting sound whenever you're going over a bump on an angle in your car? Well, here's how I fixed it with this in about five minutes. Okay, super quick and simple video today. Uh, anybody else get that really annoying creaking, twisting sound whenever you go over a bump on your car? When it kind of goes on an angle a little bit, you hear that kind of like that that really annoying twisting sound like you can hear like because basically the whole frame of the car is, is kind of twisting a little bit and that's kind of how it's designed to go so you get that really annoying sound it sounds like it's coming from the roof or coming from the rear this is how i fixed it with this this is nothing fancy this is just some silicone grease that i happen to have laying around it worked great uh, i did happen to find this uh, you can buy it on amazon uh, I'll link it below so you can find it otherwise. It's just silicone grease, it's nothing fancy. You just apply a light thin coating to certain parts of the weather stripping on the top and on the car and around the trunk in some spots if you want to, if you still have the noise persistent. And once you put that on there, um, the noise is alleviated. Now, one thing I gotta stress on this is make sure you clean everything well before you apply this stuff but also make sure that um, you put a super, super, super thin layer on. You only need a thin layer, that's it. Uh, once you put the thin layer on, uh, it should alleviate all your sounds and noises and make the car quiet whenever you're going over or anything like that. It worked for me, hopefully it worked for you. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do obviously is remove the top from the car. I have this stand here, I took the top off, I put it on the stand obviously face up so I can get to the weather stripping parts that I need to get to. Uh, there are gonna be some parts on the car that you're gonna see where you put the um, silicone grease on there, but I'll show you there in a minute. So for, for starters here, I'll show you on the actual um, top of the car itself here. So there's only gonna be uh, some spots on here, two spots on each side. Uh, it's gonna be this strip right here, and then this tiny little strip underneath right there. So what you wanna do is, first thing you wanna do before you put anything on in any of these strips is go ahead and clean them first. I already cleaned them. Uh, avoid using any type of alcohol products or anything with ammonia like glass cleaner because I know that can dry it out, particularly alcohol. So I just use soap and water uh, and just wipe it clean. So just take a little bit of the grease and just put a little bit on your finger. Uh, take like that, dab it, smear it up. And again, just light, light coats on it. Real light, you just want a tiny little gloss on it. Nothing big, nothing crazy. You don't want to goop it on by any means. Uh, just a real thin, thin coating. Um, so much so that it almost doesn't even feel like it's there. So just go ahead and put that on the top, work it all the way across. And then this little strip right here and two, put a little bit in there as well. Because you want to get that on both sides. And once you have it on uh, this side, just go ahead and move it onto the other. And at that point, you're going to be done with the actual top itself. So once you have that coated, really, like I said, really light, thin coat, really, that's all you need. And it's going to stay on there. So once you have that on, move on to the other side, and then you'll move on to the actual uh, top of the car itself. When you're putting the coating on, too, don't forget the front and the corners of it, too, like right up here. Again, don't get any in that little hole right there. That's where water uh, escapes out. And obviously, be careful not to get any on any of the suede or if you have anything else that you're going to smear and ruin it. So don't forget the fronts and then the equivalent side on the back, too. Again, don't cover up the holes. Just get it on there, like a light little coating, just like that. Okay, so here's the main part of the back of the car that you're going to want to get the grease onto. Pretty much any weather stripping on the top of the car where it's going to touch the uh, top is where you're going to want to get it. So pretty much just right along here on the top and here too. To, again, just on the top parts, don't put it in the creases down here, I would say, because that's a channel for water to drain out. Now you'll notice now two down in the corner over here there are little drains and things like that. Don't block off or get any grease in there and any of those drains or anything because then it's going to uh, protrude water getting out and then you're going to possibly have water pooling up and then you're going to leak. There's a, a hole on the front too, on the front part. I'll show you that in a second here. But again, all you want to do is just take a little bit of this grease, put a little bit on your finger, not much, and just put a thin, thin coat. All you need is just a tiny little thin coat. So get it, mix it on a little bit, and just coat the top just a little bit just like that okay keep going all the way across the entire top anywhere where the roof is going to touch just enough to kind of give it a little bit of like a gloss you don't really want to goop this stuff on or anything like that then you're going to have other problems then you're just going to have grease leaking everywhere so 
just put that on all the way across the front part and on the back part and you should be good as far as this goes. So the other part that you're going to need to get to obviously is the uh, front of the car and again same thing just take a little bit of it put it on your finger rub it around and just work it in you can kind of see the uh <clears throat> the difference between when it's on and when the parts that excuse me the parts that have and the parts that don't it's a little glossier you know and that's how you can tell again just thin thin coat don't need much and particularly when you get to the front here again don't get any down in this channel right here that'll keep water from pooling up and don't block these two drains right here either because if you do you're not going to have water getting out and then it's going to pool up and you're going to have water leaking into the car so just be very careful with that but again thin coat and then when you're done if you feel like you have too much just you know take a paper towel or a shop towel or something and, and wipe off all the excess and again just work it all the way across the entire top and the front of the car too, just like you did the rear. Okay, now two more things I will say is, um, after you put it on the top, you also might still have a little bit of a noise kind of coming from the back a little bit. I still had a small noise. It was very, very reduced, but it was still there. So at that point, I just took some silicone and I put it along the weather stripping here, along the trunk lid, in the same manner that I applied to the top. So just do the same thing, just a thin little layer, apply it to the back, and that should rectify any noise you have left over. The other thing I will say too is that you're going to be surprised um, once you put the layer of grease on the top itself, when you go to put the top back on the car, it's not going to be as easy as it was before. Okay, now it's not going to be difficult, but you are going to have to finagle a little bit. Now, that being said, if you put it on and it doesn't go on with relative ease, just take a paper towel, a shop towel, or whatever, and wipe away some of the grease. That means you put too much on. But remember, really, really thin, thin, thin layer. That's, I can't stress that enough. Once you have that really thin layer on, you go on, you put it on, it'll go right back in the same way that it did before. So, um, that's pretty much about it. Just wanna make a quick, short video on how I, uh, how I solved this problem for myself. Hopefully it works for you. Hope this helps. Good luck.